This is the full 360 panorama. It's the color as it was transmitted, except brightened up. It was pretty dark to begin with. You see there in that area, going off to the right now, the impact, or the, uh, the plume impact site of the uh, rocket plumes. We're now panning across the base of uh, Mount Sharp. We see a shadow of some of the uh, hardware on the uh, rover itself. We zoom in because there's a big uh, uh, gap of places we didn't take pictures, so this gives you a better view of the uh, of the tier of images that we did get. You'll pick up the rim up at the very top in the haze. Haze shows up pretty well in the uh, in the color. You can see it's slightly different color. You can see it's a low light layer there, as was seen in the nav cam. So you can see the plumes are light toned. That's that could be a contaminant. We don't know. We probably won't know unless we go over and observe these things. This is a NAVCAM mosaic, and in the upper right, you can actually see the main target area of where we want to go and why it was chosen. So in the hills at the background at about, well, between 190 and 200 at the degrees at the top, you see these beautiful knolls and of layered rocks, and, the, and that is the, those layers are what's recording the history in Gale Crater, and they are one of the reasons we chose Gale Crater. The main, the main reason is to study those rocks. This is just a kind of a, a context shot here. here. Here we are. You can see the high gain antenna there to the, um, that's the, the hexagonal thing pointed off to the side there, and then behind it, the little thing sticking up is the low gain antenna. Um, then you can see the rim of, uh, of, of the crater off, uh, off in the distance there. This is our uh, deck pan, and now we're kind of zooming in here. And um, you can see here that that's actually the RAD instrument. And uh, you can see a few of these kind of large, uh, large for us, uh, pebbles on the surface. And those apparently were kicked up by the, by the landing event. Apparently our Mars lander engines actually pushed up some of these uh, this gravel kind of stuff, maybe up to about a centimeter in size uh, on top of the rover. And um, they, they pose no, no uh, problem for operations.